Hi, everyone. It's Bob Perkins bringing you AISP's Inside Sales Studio, the Monday Morning Sales Minute. And I'm so excited to have a special guest with us that's going to share a fantastic tip, uh, Sachin Bhatia. Uh, he's the founder of Inside Sales Box and uh, actually calling in uh, today from India. How are you doing, Sachin? I'm doing good, Bob, and glad to be on the show. That's great. Today, we're going to talk about something so important in the prospecting process, that is how to personalize your message, how to personalize your email. So Sachin, uh, go ahead and share a, a tip or two with the viewers on that. Sure, Bob, and hello everyone. This is something that I feel very strongly about and have been observing uh, for the last one year. And I'm talking about mails by a human being to another human being. I'm not talking about marketing emails. And there you think of yourself as a mass mailer. You are a human being and you're writing to a human being. I'm going to share three tips, but the most important is it cannot be fake. Personalization cannot be fake. It's an effort that you have to put. An interesting stat, 5% businesses actually personalize, 94% believe they should. So here goes. The first step, be careful with your subject line. It's a promise. Make sure that you don't break it, right? So. So it might it, it might impact your open rates, but if you are if you're promising something and not delivering in the message, it's not going to get you the response. It, it might look like a good metric that somebody has opened the email, but he's actually very disappointed uh, with you. The second tip: if your email cannot pass these two tests, and the tests are very simple, in five seconds it should establish that the email has been written for that person, and it's relevant to him in five seconds. So look at your email, you think you are the guy that, that the email should go to and if in five seconds you cannot establish yes this email is only for me and I'm not the 723rd guy on the list who is receiving this email, uh, then it's not going to fly. And within 10 seconds it should establish a clear CTA, call to action. What do you want me to do? It's relevant but it should very clearly tell me what should I, I be doing with this message. So here are some of the things that I do. The first is if it's an inbound lead or you're tracking his behavior, something that he has done on your website, that's very relevant. If he has read a certain kind of blog, he has downloaded some eBooks, you know, start your conversation there, you know that it's personalized. The second is something that he or she has written recently. It might be his LinkedIn post. It might be even be a recommendation he has given to someone or a recommendation received. Recently, I, I, I had a prospect who had received a recommendation from Rad Fishkin of Moz. And that was my opening statement. And the guy immediately liked it because I had done my research. It cannot be fake. A machine cannot identify that yet. Mm -hmm. The third is a common connection. If you know somebody, I know somebody who knows somebody, you know, Bob is connected to someone and say, you know, I was discussing personalization with Bob. He said, you are a good proponent of personalization. Can we have a chat? That's again something that I can only write for him. Mm -hmm. Do not pitch yet. If it's your first email, do not make the mistake. There's no requirement to establish. He doesn't have a pain point. Do not say, I want to discuss your problems. Do not say, I have a product which does this, this, this. Would you be interested? Ask an open-ended question about something that he has done, which is relevant to him, relevant to you, and try to have a conversation. Everybody, especially if you're talking to sales and marketing people, love to speak. <laughs> make them speak. Right? Don't speak. Just, just shut up and you know, ask him a question that he wants to answer. So that's my second tip. The third is, and this is, this is tactical. Uh, when you're sending your first email, touch that person on social at least 24 hours before you send that email. It establishes, you know, again, if you're, if you're talking to people who are present on LinkedIn and Twitter, marketer, sales guys, they would have a recall looking at, oh, this guy, I've seen him somewhere. This immediate recall established. Uh, retweet something that you find be relevant. Retweet something that you find interesting. Comment on. Uh, you know, something that he has written on LinkedIn, comment on something that he has tweeted, uh, and, and most people are these days, 24 hours before that. I have personally experimented this, and we got 30% more responses if you do social touches before the email. It takes effort, it cannot be faked, a machine cannot do it for you, but it'll get you the responses. That's fantastic. Those are, those are three really powerful tips, some of which I haven't heard before, so, Thanks so much for sharing that. We're going to put up on the screen those tips as a reminder to the viewers. What a fantastic way to get the Monday started off right. Viewers, take these tips, put them to use, give us feedback, 
on if they're working or not. We'd love to hear that. Thanks again, Sachin, for joining us all the way from India. Uh, fantastic tips. This is Bob Perkins signing off from AISP's Inside Sales Studio. Everyone have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. See ya.